Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Silent Hill 4, The Room. I feel like shit. <laughs> Not physically, a little bit physically, mostly mentally. So I'm going to play this dark and depressing game. You know, just something to lift up my spirits. Returning from Building World. <laughs> See, it's already getting better. Uh, yeah, what happened last time? I do remember, like, these big-ass chimp ape mutants chasing me. Oh. She's next on the chopping block, is she? I, mm-hmm. Got freaking Epstein just staring at us. All right, run your ass over here. Oh, did I get stuck somewhere? Oh, God. I might have gotten stuck somewhere. Uh, mm, okay, I vaguely remember this place. Sluggies. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Alright, let's just try all the doors. We got a bat, an all-American bat, for an all-American boy. It's bill it's a billiard table. Looks like they were in the middle of a game. I would know. I played billiards. What the hell are you looking at, buddy? What is it, buddy? What is it? What is it? Slug? Is it a slug? Yeah, you got the slug. Examine this. Examine this. Uh, they just. Oh my god, an axe. We keep getting weapons after weapon. I can't hold anymore. We are flush with weapons and heals. Do I need to carry these freaking plaques around with me? Okay, that sound is really getting on my nerves. There's a memo here. The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of the store's phone number, but the phone number is written right there on the sign on the roof. Anybody could see it from South, Sh South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? All right, we're going. We're going back to do some inventory management. Thirty-seven fifty. Yes, take the rusty axe. One-handed axe, a little short, but powerful and easy to handle. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. You know, you need to just step on him. That's fine. Do I want to go in this door? That's the door I came from, right? There's, there's one making one particular sound that I despise. 30... Seven fifty. Just look at the slug go in. Ah! Oh! What? Okay, you hold this button. Wait, uh, mm, mm, do I really want to go up? Or do I want to go down? I guess the sound was implied to come from the top. So I should run towards the sound. <gasps> run towards the sound. <sighs> no! Screw you, ghosts. Screw you, ghosts. Come play with me. Henry, why you don't play with us anymore? We just want to play some billiards. Do you know how to play billiards, Henry? Come play with us. I got a sword, motherfucker. Leave me alone. Uh, just run. Just run. This is the strategy. That's what we're good at. Just running. You know, in other games, when there's a really long hallway or like a lot of stairs, it's never ending. But this game, no, it is ending. It's just really fucking long. It's just really long. The long schlong of stairs. God damn it, ghost guy. Give me, give me a break. 
<gasps> What's this? It's locked. <laughs> the door. 207 from my apartment building. Well, go inside. There's a play on the door. Yes. You got the chaos placard. Placard from Building World. From Building World. Ugh. It has a it has an abstract picture and says Chaos. Chaos is abstract, Henry. Someone's getting a nice tattoo. Oh no, it's the guy with the fancy tie. What the hell? Oh, that hurts. <gasps> 1912-1. You're next, Henry. You're next. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I've seen worse than this. It's the devil, man. God, thank Jesus he shut up. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here with my thoughts. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Yep, just another dream. And from Building World. The Building World dream. Okay. <laughs> Why would it be anything? Oh! There's a man in 207 pointing his finger. <gasps> He's pointing at room 303. Eileen's room? Is that her name? Eileen? Eileen? Uh, uh. I can't interact with this. Are we done looking? We're done looking. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. Looks like another one, Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. It's just like that case from ten years ago. Oh, shit. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. Yeah, see? But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some Didn't crazy I? copycat. Yeah, but even so... Hmm, but did they? Yes, 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 yes. Look in the hole. Look in the hole. What the heck? She has a different set of clothes. I can't believe he stood me up. I got on my only other dress. Hello? <laughs> Do we keep looking in the hole? Tell me your secrets. <laughs> that just loops as well. By the way, so... <sighs> he called me back. Now I have to do my nails. Hello? Lady? Eileen? Is that your name? Hello? <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> Should we just keep looking in the hole? See what else is new? Alright, I'm done. I'm done. <gasps> Where to next? Water world? Uh, I think we already had water-related stuff. 
Fucking sand world. Oh. The hole is much calmer now, you know? It doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger and rounder. <laughs> I think I've seen this pattern before. Yeah, go inside. Yeah, it's on the holes, dude. Are we back in the prison? I hated the prison. <laughs> three oh three. He's finally here. David? Walter? Is that you? I'm a stand-up guy. Ooh. Hey, the dogs are dead. <gasps> he must be super it looks powerful. Looks like my apartment. What the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna stand around. I got the axe though. Yo, one. Henry's here. Yo. This guy drank a lot. Wow. Look at all these porno magazines. <gasps> really? <laughs> Henry, you hurt your eyes. Oh. Hello. It's a red piece of paper with nothing written on it. Yes. You got the red paper. Just red paper with nothing written on it. I'll stick it in my- Oh, I'll stick it under room 302's door. What the hell? Have I- It's- I, I said this before, is there like a time loop going on? There's a diary here. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me, who gave me that rare porn magazine. Oh my, so spicy, so rare. Looks like he's been working super hard. <laughs> he's- oh. One might say I'm also super hard. <laughs> he said if I found another rare one, he'd give me it. He'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist and he is always investigating stuff, like where the rare porno magazines are. But I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can't hear all these weird noises coming from there. Must be one of those weird, weird porno magazines. Oh, my beautiful Rachel. What's with the note on the red paper? I thought you had written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. Why did he take your clothes? Who's Mike? Why is he stacks of fucking porno magazines? What the Mike? What were you into? The freaking elevator? Hello? This guy. Is it the super? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Well, fucking take the key. South Ashfield Heights' is superintendent's key. It says 105 on it. Oh, things are getting way too complicated. <laughs> it's a photo of a nurse that says, I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back. Yes, take the key. Locker key number 106. Jesus Christ. There's a magazine line open. It's porn. <laughs> Teaching despair. Wish house. Wish house. An orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish house is managed by the Silent Hill Smiles to su Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that, quote, takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope, end quote, but at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. So this guy was in, this guy was, 
not the superintendent, but the investigator was looking at the 4S. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Wish House, ha had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear the weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter refused. Oh, in fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover. This is a fucking long magazine. I was able to discover, however, a suspicious looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. The prison, I'm assuming. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that it operates at Wish House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religious. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hills' history, but its worshippers are but its worshippers is fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. Oh really? I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schrilber. Joseph Schroeder. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's something after me now. I have to go... Fucking hell, dude! Yo! Go. That creeped me out. What a lore dump, too. Jesus. Expo ex exposition dump, I should say. Alright. All right, all right, let's get... There is an elevator in here, remember that. Let's see what else we got in here. Hey, little boy, you went... Hello? It's locked. There's a scrap red... There's a scrap of red paper stuck under the door. This is the same way they show up on your my door. <gasps> so someone, like Walter has been leaving us notes. Can I not take that? Open up! Maybe I need the key? It's locked. What was that guy doing here? Could he be the next victim? Or could it be me? Um, I need trick here. I can't use that. 105 and 106. Oh. It's locked. Going down. Third floor. Oh, hi. You want to be fried? Okay, walking away. Uh... Alright, don't judge a book by its cover. Let's have a little chat. Hello? I got this from Miss Galvin a long, long time ago. Is your name Walter? She was younger than me back then. Yes. She looked so happy holding her mother's hand. Here. I'll give it to you. I cannot hold that. <laughs> literally called it. Um, are you gonna be upset if I don't take it? Cause, uh, my pockets are full. Is he done talking to us? Should I? Should I? <gasps> He's as hard as steel. Well, I think that's a good place to call it. I know it might seem awkward. Oh wait, there's the elevator. We'll get the doll next time. Thank you for watching. See you. Oh. See you in the next one.